This is a demonstration of the Universal Analog Hardware Test Bench for checking out a LM741 circuit which is configured as a comparator with hysteresis. Let us open the application. This is the about screen. The first thing to do is to establish connection between the PC and the ATE system. Let's check which are the ports which are available. We know that our system is connected to COM5. So let's select COM5 and run a test. We get an answer back that the ATE system is ready. Let's now proceed to auto mode. And the auto mode VO1 has been programmed as a sine wave with plus or minus 10 volts with 100 samples. So let's set the end ID as 100. Let's set a delay of 10 milliseconds. We need to output VO1 and read back A in 1 and A in 2. Let's run the test. We get a busy signal. As soon as the run comes back, the data has been acquired now. We can now proceed to plot the data. First, we run a check plot to know things are okay. Yes, we have the input sine wave and the output square wave of the comparator. Let's annotate this plot. The title should read LM741 as a as a comparator the x-axis would be sample number the y-axis one would be V in and volts and the y2 axis would be V out in volts let's replot the data Yes, now we have the results of our test. Let's save the image as comparator underscore one. So the image has been saved. <coughs> Let's replot this uh, data in XY format, which will give a better idea of how the comparator works. The X now will have to be A in and would be V in in volts. And the Y axis would be A in 2 which would be V out in volts. And the Y2 axis we can mark as not applicable. Let's look at the plot now. Yes, now we see a plot of V in versus V out. And we notice the comparator characteristic. As V in increases, the output changes over at approximately 2 volts. And then as the V in decreases, the output changes over at something like minus 2 volts which shows the typical characteristics of a comparator with hysteresis. We are now done. Thank you.